Good morning, fellow punters. There was a song one time, it was four in the morning, once more the dawn, and well, it's three in the morning. I might as well get this done before I go to bed. I'm fairly fresh now, and yesterday morning, I was stuck to the mattress and couldn't open my eyes, and I was I was in bed early the night before, early enough. Um, or that was this morning. Well, yesterday morning now. What am I talking about? Friday morning. Um, and it was pretty much the same for a lot of the day. I was over across the road. My neighbours are gone away for five days, so I'm housekeeping and dog keeping. They normally leave the dog into uh, a place, uh, kennel for the weekend. She wasn't too happy the last time, so seeing that I'm around, I'll take care of her. And I was over there uh, about um, half twelve and uh, gave her a bit to eat, and I looked at a bit on my phone. I was playing poker last night and went to Galway about um, 6 o'clock yesterday evening. Meant to do a video before I went, but I got tired a couple of times. Um, and funny enough, when I'm playing cards, I'm not tired. Or when I'm driving, I'm not tired. And I wasn't tired when I came home. Cards uh, wasn't as enjoyable as the last night. Um, got no sort of run at all. Every time I looked at my first card, was either a 4 or a 7. A nine or a juice. Um, played Midland uh, when I got the opportunity, uh, but got knocked out um, after the break. I had pocket jacks. Um, a fellow went three and a half thousand. Another fellow saw him. I went all in at about eighteen thousand. Fellow called me with queen five of diamonds, and your man, the other guy that played first had uh, Queen King he said after so there was uh, less queens in the deck and on the flop the queen came up so my uh, my jacks were history and down the road I went so I was home around half twelve and went over to the neighbours uh, house and uh, fed the dog and she played with me for a while so I sh I've been watching videos since so the strategy last we had Seven runners and five of them were placed. No winner. Few got money, all right. Um, Eminency was well backed, finished third. Uh, the the it pitched rain there all day that day. Um, that was against that. Land Rover drifted out to twenties. Uh, got placed. Got a good ride from that young lad. Tall story. A lot of money. Um, out of the money. Uh, I I uh, drifted like a bird and Rayami went out to twelve to one, gamble on it to hundred to thirty, finished second. What was the name of the jockey? Moggy or something. He wasn't much cop or she, whatever it was. Um anyway, tomorrow I know or today in a few hours, um I could do it to shave. I'm just looking and seeing myself. I must do it today. Um The Shergar Cup is on. I know an awful lot of people don't like it. Um but when I see an angle for a bet, it doesn't matter uh, to me. Um, I'll have a pop at it. Um, this was won the last two years by a three-year-old. And you have to be drawn sort of low. Um, last year, Kazuzo Yokama had Japanese book. I think there's a Japanese book on on this year on a horse that we won a few pound on a few times it's Fujito no 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 it must be a day in Devon it's drawn low five four long suits good to fair them suits um, night and earth it'll be a speed horse as well uh, that'll come across from the outside draw ask Sana I don't know where he's from I didn't do my homework on that um a day in Devon is back down to a handicap, so it's a class dropper. Group three listed, listed group three listed. The last one was in a handicap. Uh, we were on it that day in Bath, uh, ninety five. So it's uh, one o four now. It's three to one favourite. We'll have a pop at it. Seven to two with a couple of them there. We have a bus horse running in the next race as well. I don't know how 
uh, someone can explain to me that knows it better than I do. Samoy for Gordon Elliot is a reserve, but if it if it runs, it'll be carrying top weight. So was there a ballot or what? I thought the ballot should be for the bottom of horses. This should have been carrying top weight. Uh, it's reserve. So I mean, will they bring it over if they know that is, or if they know that it's not running, or do they need to know before they put it on the boat or the plane or whoever they're bringing it over? Um, tone it over. But it won for us the last time. It hosed up in down south. Clarity, wasn't it? Hosed up by 17 lengths. Um, if it runs, Buzz Horse will have to back it. In the event it doesn't run, I think there's a bet there in Struth. It's the first time at the trip. This is a two mile trip. It has Ty Gaucher. I like Ty Gaucher. I've made a few pounds in Medan on him. But if you look at this horse, it won uh, 12 and a half furlongs. But it ran last year in the mile and a half. The Australian guy, um, Matt Chadwick, was on him. But he comes from a long way back to suggest that the extra half a mile will be right up his alley. Regal Empire won at Holly Doyle in Tinzio. Ousted along, French That's invasion, him with the orange trying to cap. kick Here away from Regal Empire in Tinzo, making it a line of three on the outside, two furlongs left to go. French Invasion and Regal Empire chased hard by in Tinzo. Satin is in fourth place, then Golden Maverick Struth down the outside. In company with Sovereign Spirit, the rest of the world closing in. In Tinzo and Regal Empire, the first two. Just about half a furlong to go. Struth is still gaining. In Tinzo the grey, the far side, Regal Empire, the near Side Struth and Matthew Chadwick. Three in a line here. Regal Empire on the inside. Holly Doyle has written a second. Winner of the day and a thriller for the classic. Struth. It's an open affair, but Ty Gushy, I like him as a jockey. He won't be. Uh, if it, if Samoa runs, we'll have to back it. It's a buzz horse. And without Samoa, I don't know who will be dropping out. Struth is still a 7-1 to one shot without the Fav. Uh, one more bet at uh, Ascot. And I went with the, the, a good jockey as well on a horse that ran here last year. That silent film. It used to be with the boys in blue. And one in Medan, so it likes a good surface. And it's good to ferrum. Good, good to ferrum in places. Any horse that wins in Medan likes top of the ground. And it's one in Bahrain, one in Sandown on good ground. Last year it ran. In this event, which is good to soft, it was behind Parato. Good to soft, good in places, and that wouldn't be its outside. Then Parato and Thor Hannah Hansen looking to is make some here? progress. Empire State of Mind with a bit to do as Foxtail tries to hang tough here. A furlong and a half Black to go, house. looking to turn away XL Power, the Wizard of Eye, the outside with positive impact, and then Perotto and Empire State of Mind plugging on, but Foxtel is still keeping galloping here. Chased hard by Perotto in second, then Empire State of Mind, Foxtel with his head a little high, but he still has the advantage under Joe Marrera, but Perotto is thrusting, snatched it maybe. Oh, it'll go to the judge, Perotto, and the long-time leader, Foxtel, ahead of Empire State of Mind. Kazuzuki, whatever you want to call him, was on him. Shamey Heffernan is on him. Shamey will be having, trying to get a winner. That's the reason I picked him and O'Shea because they'll be getting the old finger out. Um, them three. 
the Rose of Lancaster is on tomorrow. Uh, I thought initially that Lord North with the good to firm, but he's pulled out in the last couple of hours. Uh, and Matt won it two years ago. Hasn't ran for a while. Looks to be the classiest of the lot. Uh, the going is slight concern because it won on well, it won on good to fair him a couple of times, but it looks to be better on soft. But it look that looks to be the right favourite chance tomorrow. Um, it's entered in. What is it entered in? Yeah, it's entered in a couple of group ones. So I want to be winning this to make the main trees. This is a group three. On to oh, when I'm at it there, Saratoga. Four star Dave. No, I'll put it up. It's the. Um, I don't know where it's going to. Here we go. The Saratoga Derby. Legend of Time. There's no prices up yet. Flavian Pratt riding for uh, Charity Appleby. On to uh, the Cora. Of an intriguing contest at four o'clock. Won last year by Little Queenie. And it won the last year, but it's rated 96 now. Uh, it's uh, gone way higher. And Greek Flower, we were on that a couple of times, but a bit of Cush and Six would seem to be that cup of tea. I see Leeds put down the other day that he's going to have the mother load on. Three to one. Sam Rogue is in it and went up a whopping uh, 15 pounds. 18 pounds, wasn't it? Uh, 60. What did it win the last day? This, this horse has me baffled. Uh, you know, it has won five times for us. Up fifteen pounds from sixty five, but when I won that race two years ago, it won it in one twelve to second last year. But it was it the rain that scuppered its chances, um, and when it was desperate, impressive the last day, and it was the first time it was up at the pace. It normally came from behind in Dundalk and even at Cork last year, but it was up at the pace. Uh, that's it here. The Zentopia, also sister Lola, from the again stair. in that group. And Sam Rogue is with them over towards the far side. Leading that group is Turn Up the Beat as they continue on. Spread right across there the track, here, over towards the far side, Turn Up the Beat and Gold Mine. Up the centre, Zentopia. The green and white have rumbled again with them is Sam Rogue. Towards the near side, Sister Lola over on the extreme stand side, American in Paris. Trying to get into it is Coco Hill. As they head on with less than two to race, out in the centre of the course, Sam Rogue has come through to lead. Chase now by Turn Up the Beat over on the far side, Gold Mine. Furthest away, I'm Spartacus is staying on, but out in front, Sam Rogue has skipped clear, is clear by about four. Sister Lola in second, well inside the final furlong. It's another winner for Russell Sullivan. And Sam Russell Sullivan is an absolutely rip roaring form, as we know from Galway, and that. Um, but if you look at, uh, he was supposed to need the run, or she was supposed to need the run the last day. Uh, I can't understand that they didn't know she was in such form as she was. Um, Little Queenie won it last year, carrying 8 stone 11. Now is 10 stone, less the 5. And even Greek Flower of 88. When that won, it's gone up in the weights as well. It won off uh, 70. Um, it's up to 78 it's gone up another 10 what uh, 10 pounds for finishing 3 seconds so Samrog looks to have a good chance on forum uh, without a doubt uh, 
my two reverse forecast would see great i think great flower needs more cut uh, and sam rug needs top of the ground so if it rained if it got the rain that it was coming through clare galway onto tune tonight it would change any ground but if it stays good to firm that's sam rug's ground if it was soft it would suit great flower more so um there's Phoenix Steak tomorrow. That looks to be whistle jackets. But in the we have a bus horse in the in the what do you call it? The five ten. Lucky out. The each way play at five to one with some of them there. One for us in Galway. Now it was over seven, but it a fast six I think it'll be all right. That was in a maiden. And I went up, he was put up, uh, or the she was put up, is uh, six pounds. Um, she won well in Galway. That's her on the blue hat on the right Trying to side stay on ahead of a weakening arm, Matilda, as Lucky Out comes to the front from Noni Never on the inside. Followed then by Future Cutlet, who's bearing down on them in third. Then the Yorks Chilon, and it's Lucky Out, who is the definite leader now. Opens up in the closing stages from on the outside, Future Cutlet. It is Lucky Out off the mark as Tom Mullins joins Tony and Willie on the winner's list here. Second is Future she won that nicely. So you'd imagine that um, like Colin Keane is on her as well. That Jamie Heffernan jumped off and said, look at, bring her back to six, it won't be a problem. If you get the five to one back at each way there, um, there's threes, I don't know if they're up to date or not because this is the middle of the night. There's one more there at, at um, that it out quick from Galway. Uh, Junior Wine Ertigal. So the Hape of Money for it, uh, went off uh, Fav in Galway. We seen it. It was coming to us. We were on Grey Leader. And Grey Leader has ran well enough since. But that was gambled on. I, I think it was um, 11 to 2 into. Uh, 11 to 4 favourite. Um, club £5, but they have a £5 claimer on it. Um, Colin Keane is on quadruple. But the fact that they've been out again, I think uh, they're trying to get a win when it's in forum. That was the race Lucky Out was in. In uh, for fear, Al Riffa is out Sunday. We were on uh, Al Riffa. We won a few pounds were, uh, each way without the favourite. And people done the forecast went to second to uh, City of Troy. So staying on over a mile to this. Is a prep for uh, the Prix de l'Arc. So if, if they have any notions and they're talking about uh, winning the Prix de l'Arc, they want to be winning this on Sunday. Came Conquest is its uh, major rival. And we have another bus horse running in the, the Jacques Le Marie or Moreau or whatever you call it. Charion. In Spiral has won this the last two years. Brian Moore is riding this year. Uh, Schumacher's jocked off. We are on Sharian. It's the has improved. Has won three out of four. And the date was bet. It was bet by audience. An audience has come out and won since. So it's in good form. It has won us a few pounds. So. We'll stick with that uh, on Sunday. Uh, the reason I'm putting this for fear, I don't know what on Saturday night, just for fear I mightn't get a video in. I'm just explaining to you now, it's 15 to 8 there at William Hill. Uh, I think we'll, we'll take on Inspiral and more to Sousa, SDS. But they get this into the oven. Bash the bookies over and out.